welcome to IBM IELTS Academy. Today we're going to look at IELTS holiday vocabulary, some useful phrases and expressions for your IELTS speaking. Here we go. The positive and negative effects of a holiday. Positive effects of a holiday, to get away from it all. Get away from work and study. An example could be traveling can be regarded as a recreational activity which allows travelers to get away from it all. You can get away from all your troubles, worries, and just relax. Spend quality time with family and friends. Going on holiday is a time when family and friends can be together and spend quality time with each other, free from concerns of everyday life. The negative effects of a holiday, unfortunately, can be to impair the local environment, affect the local environment negatively, uh, destroy the lo local environment. Many tourists throw rubbish into the water which significantly impairs the local environment. Um, we need to really be careful wherever we go. It can be very expensive, cost an arm and a leg, cost a lot of money. For example, traveling overseas these days uh, can cost people a lot of money, can cost people an arm and a leg. Useful collocations and phrases for IELTS speaking test. And the topic is holidays. One, a holiday of a lifetime, a special holiday that you're unlikely to repeat. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Um, for example, my trip to Ha Long Bay last week uh, was a holiday of a lifetime in uh, which I had um, a wonderful time and made lots of memorable um, moments and memories with my family, which I will always cherish. Two, all in packages, a package holiday, a holiday where you purchase the travel and accommodation together, and often it includes food. And sometimes that can be for half a day, like breakfast and lunch, or it can be all in, which means breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, an example could be, I don't prefer packaged holidays because when it comes to traveling, I've always wanted to explore the new place myself. So I would actually rephrase that and say, I like to explore new places myself, so I'm not keen on packaged holidays. A guided tour, an organized group shown around a place of interest by an expert who has lots of knowledge about the place. For example, it's suggested that signing up for a guided tour will help the traveler to avoid tourist traps and you get a very quick um, idea of where everything is and what it's about. You get a feel for the place. So it's, it, they are useful. And sometimes you learn about places which you, you wouldn't have found yourself. Useful collocations and phrases again, some more. Um, holiday destinations, where you're going on holiday. For example, Ha Long Bay is a famous holiday destination in Vietnam where they welcome a million travelers a year. Five, a far off destination, uh, somewhere a long way away. For example, these days traveling to a far off destination is really common as people like to do and explore places that are very different from their own uh, countries, especially a lot of young people. Six, places of interest. Sites of interest for tourists, these could be historical places, even modern places that um, are different, unusual. For example, Dubai, it's all modern, but unusual and exceptional. Um, but it, they can be old places like the hidden city um, in China or the China Great Wall of China. When going to a new place, the first thing I will do is to travel to some places of interest and try the lo local food. To go sightseeing, to look around the tourist sites. I like to go sightseeing at the weekend with my friends, even in countryside areas or in my own country, the local um, places. Breathtaking view, an extremely beautiful view. For example, one thing I really love about my previous trip is that I 
experienced many breathtaking views. Nine, hordes of tourists, crowds of tourists. For example, in the holiday season, a tour guide gets very busy um, with hordes of tourists. The town gets very busy, actually, with hordes of tourists, hopefully, because it's good for business. Local crafts, objects produced locally. For example, the shops in the bazaar sell various types of local crafts and a wide range, at a wide range of prices. Um, charter flight, a cheaper flight uh, than a scheduled flight. For example, they, I usually choose to travel by charter flight. Then I can save a lot of money in the terms of uh, my travel costs and go to maybe two places a year. The um, charter travel is usually in the summer in peak seasons. They don't necessarily travel all year round, it depends. 12, a check-in desk. The place at the airport where you register your flight and deposit your luggage, you hand in your luggage, you get your boarding pass. Um, check-in desk is the first place that you have to go when you want to get on a plane. Thank you for being with us for the holiday phrases and expressions. Please do look them up on your um, dictionary. The Longman Dictionary is very good in particular, I think, and I recommend it to you. Um, get some other phrases and you might see other examples and use your own life experience and you put these phrases in there to talk about your travel experiences and highlight the good things you've done. And that will be very helpful for you. And good luck.